This lecture presents the simulation, the spy simulation of a possible class D amplifier. This is very similar to what has been presented during the theoretical lecture. This class D amplifier is composed by a comparator. It, this is actually a symbol that includes a more complex circuit. More will be said later about this. There is the input signal, a sinusoid at 1 kHz, and the triangular waveform, that is the comparison waveform here. The circuit is composed by two and most transistors. Also in this case, these transistors are not general, general ones, but they, are, they have a particular model that is uh, uh, fit enough, that's good enough for this kind of simulation. And the filter here, the cutoff frequency has been taken high enough not to filter out, uh, in order to not filter out the signal component of the signal, but to filter out the frequency component of the modulating frequency, modulating signal that is uh, 50 kilo. Um, this is, sorry, this is not 50 kilo. This is 10 ki uh, 20 kilohertz. The simulation lasts 20 milliseconds. The supply voltages are plus 25.5, volts and minus 12.5 volts. We can run the simulation for 20 milliseconds and analyze the output waveforms. It takes some time, it's not immediate. There is, uh, this is uh, in red in the middle, the output voltage. And you can see that it is sinusoidal after an initial transient phase. Why do we have this initial transient? Because the filter has to reach the regime situation. Uh, you need to charge current into the inductor, charge voltage on the capacitor, and this will take some time. When we reach the regime condition, the output voltage is fairly sinusoidal. We can compare this with the input voltage. We can compare the output voltage in green here with the input voltage in purple here. That is also sinusoidal. We can see that it's fairly sinusoidal. We follow more or less the input signal. The bottom plot shows the G2 and G1 voltages that are the pulses that act activate these two MOSFETs, power MOSFET, and the D voltage that is a series of pulses that go from plus 12.5 volts to minus 12.5 volts. Let's show this with a zoom of the waveform. You can see here the D voltage in gray spans from 12 volts to minus 12 volts and uh, this is the pulse width modulated signal the green and blue pulses are the pulses that activate m3 and m1 in turn they are never on in the same at the same time and this will justify the working principle of the circuit it is also interesting to analyze the power dissipation and efficiency. This can be done analyzing the power transfer to the output that is in red on the top plot and the power taken from the true voltage sources. There are a number of spikes here because this, there are a number of transients. However, we are interested to the average value in order to better show this power, let us delete these waveforms that are no more needed. We can use the measure directives to calculate the um, 
power efficiency but in this case we can also use uh, some faster commands to get a first hint on the behavior of the shear of the circuit. First of all, let's see which is the output power. The output, po the output power is uh, oscillating and is never smaller than zero. The input power has the source power has uh, negative and positive pulses and we are interested on the average value. In order to calculate the average value, you can click on the waveform while clicking the control button and you get the average around the along the simulated waveform. We see here that the output power on average is 5.3 watts. The same can be done for the source power that is 5.56 Watts. Immediately we see that the average efficiency, the efficiency for this circuit in much, is much better than class A and B amplifiers. In order to get the, an exact measurement, we can use the measure directives. Once uh, the proper directives have been inserted, we run the simulation for a slightly longer time in order to get a better average and to, and to make this initial transient negligible on the total average, and we can run the simulation. This is the final result, as you see, this is a very long simulation and we can uh, read the number and we see that we have a 95% efficiency for this circuit. This confirms that class D amplifier can reach very high efficiency in the amplification. This can conclude our simulation of the class D amplifier. However, I want you, I invite you to repeat this simulation and try to build your own comparator here. You will see that if you try to generate a simple comparator with the positive and the inverted waveforms, the circuit, this circuit will not work very well. In particular, you will read and measure a very small value of efficiency. It is left to the student the analysis, the analysis of what is happening and try to find out countermeasures.